Hi, I'm Dr. Tan. I would like to talk to you about history taking for breast diseases today. As we all know, the commonest complaint of a patient presenting to a breast clinic will be breast lump. And the majority of these breast lumps that are presented are benign in nature after being worked out. However, we must always bear in mind that breast cancer may be detected in an asymptomatic woman who had a screening mammogram. Let's look at the relationship with age of breast lump and other history. As you can see that the three commonest diagnoses as the age advances will be fibroadenoma, fibroadenosis or breast cysts, followed by carcinoma. So, the objectives of taking a history is so that first, we can obtain a provisional diagnosis, differential diagnosis, we can assess the fitness of the patients for further treatments, and also build a therapeutic relationship. Chief complaint, may I know what brings you here today? Start off by asking the chief complaint. The patient's current main concern must be obtained. And we need to identify the duration of symptom or concern for the patient. History of presenting complaint. We will ask about the duration and progression of the breast lump. When did she first notice the lump? And how has it developed over time? Is it related to the menstrual cycle? Site. Which side of the breast is affected? And which quadrant? The size of the lump. Does it change over time? Does it become bigger? Remain the same or smaller? Is there any skin changes? For example, skin retraction, erythema, ulceration, or pedoran changes. Pain. Is there any pain that is associated with the lump? For example, we need to know the site of the pain, the severity of the pain, that we can assess it objectively by using the pain scoring system. Is the pain related to the menstrual cycle? Is there any aggravating or relieving factor? And is it related to bra wearing? We need to know as well is the patient lactating currently or pregnant? Is there any history of recent trauma to the breast? And has this condition been treated prior to this consultation? And how was the progress over time? Other than the breast lump, we will inquire about the nipple. Is there any nipple ulcer? Any nipple discharge? If there is, we need to know in detail is it unilateral or bilateral? Is it spontaneous or upon milking only? Is the ducts involved solitary or multiple ducts? What is the color of the discharge? Is it serious, bloody or milky? Other than the lump over the breast, is there any other swellings? For example, in the axilla, the neck and the supraclavicular fossa. Last but not the least, it's important to ask about the symptoms of metastasis. The commonest site for breast cancer to metastasize will be lung, bone, liver, and brain. Patients with lung metastasis usually present with breathlessness. Patients with bone metastasis present with back pain when the vertebra is involved and hypercalcemia symptoms. Patients with liver metastasis present with jaundice or epigastric mass. Patients with brain metastasis will complain of symptoms which suggestive of raised intracranial pressure. Past medical history of the patient. It's important to know whether the patient have any past medical history, for example, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, asthma, heart disease, or any connective tissue diseases. Past surgical history. Is there any past surgical history for the patient? Any previous breast cancer? Any previous breast surgery done? Any biopsy of the breast and what was the result? Is there any previous gynecological surgery? 
any surgery that patient had undergone and did the patient encounter any complication. The menstrual and reproductive history. This is important and we need to know the age of patient's menarche, the menopausal status. If the patient is menopause, we need to know the age of menopause. The last menstrual period, the menstrual pattern, for example, the regularity, duration and quantity of bleeding, the parity of the patient, most importantly, the age of first full-term pregnancy, breastfeeding duration in total, any use of oral contraceptive pills, and what are the types and the duration, any hormonal replacement therapy use and the duration, family history. We need to explore the family history of three generations because both maternal and paternal history is relevant as predisposition genes are autosomal dominant genes. We need to know the family history for any breast cancer and ovarian cancer and is the breast cancer in combination with other BRCA related cancers, for example, pancreas, prostate and esophageal cancers on the same side of family. Is there any early onset breast cancer in combination with other genes, for example, TP53 related cancers, example, sarcomas, and multiple cases of childhood cancers on the same side of family, Cowden syndrome, Lynch syndrome, for example? Social history of the patient. We will inquire about the occupation of the patient, the financial stability, and where patients stay. Identify who is the main carer for the patient. What is the family support like? Is there any history of alcohol? Correction. Is there any habits of alcohol consumption and smoking? Drug history. Is the patient currently on any medication? For example, oral contraceptive pills, hormonal replacement therapy, anticoagulant, steroid, traditional medication and supplements. Allergy history. Is the patient allergic to anything that he or... Correction. Allergy history. Next. Does she have any known allergy to medication or food? Before we summarize, we need to know patient's concern. What is their ideas, concerns and expectation? Ideas. What does she think that is causing the lump? This will be a good opportunity for doctors to re-educate patients on myths. Does she have any particular views about the future investigation and treatment? Concerns We need to understand that worries about breast cancer are extremely common. The concern of patients may not be the same as a doctor, for example, for them, they may be more concerned about needing to come back for long course of radiotherapy as compared to body image issues in mastectomy. We need to know what's the expectation of the patient. Why has she come to see you? Commonly, reassurance and looking for a diagnosis are the common reasons for consultations. Last, let me give you some tips for presenting the history. Start off by stating the age and the ethnic group of the patient. The chief complaint must be very clear. Talk about the presenting complaint and the duration of the chief complaint. Followed by the history of the presenting illness. In a patient with a long history, begin at patient was well until so and so day. Describe the diagnostic steps and treatments that the patient had in relation to her current problems. Present about the symptoms of metastasis, if there's any, risk factors, relevant medical history and surgical history, pre-operative assessment for fitness of surgery, the social history of the patient, and the ideas, concerns, and expectations of the patient. So in summary, Concise the summary to a sentence. Summarize the age, the ethnicity, chief complaint and duration. 
the relevant history of presenting complaint, the risk factors, and the concerns of the patients all in one sentence, if possible. The end. Thank you.